everyone at Nicholas Star here, back with more Backstage Pass. Right now, we're at the Golden Television Awards. Lloyd and John gave me a beautiful dress to wear. Let's continue. Since the guy in the suit and bow tie, John and Justice bow tie was an air of curiosity. Lloyd insists it's cool. Speaking of Lloyd, where is he? Present and accounted for. And you look great, Sean. I knew that dress would suit you. Didn't I say that dress would suit her? Yes, yes, you're very smart. That is correct. Shall we find our seats then? Ooh, I'm so excited! Lloyd claps me on the shoulder. Maybe Sean will win an award for makeup. I think that's a little too much to hope for. You never know. Music starts up and the three of us find a place to sit. A massive of ceremonies tells a few appropriate jokes before launching into the awards. One after another, awards are handed out. Finally, the makeup category comes up. And the award for best makeup goes to... Snickerdoodle King for his work on Corpses Among the Stars! Aww. The audience applauds and I do my best not to look too disappointed. Snickerdoodle King is an industry veteran, and he deserves this. I can't help but feel a little disappointed, though. The awards continue until the MC announces the category we've all been waiting for. And the award for Best Television Drama goes to... Sorry. I saw a uh, speck on my screen. Had to change Vice my Versus! <laughs> what?! Lloyd lets out an inhumanly high pierced scream, screech, <laughs> before turning to John and embracing him in a hug that appears to be slowly compressing all the air out of him. The camera's trained on the two of them, and the audience cheers at the sight of them projected onto the monitor above us. Lloyd finally releases John from his grasp, and the two head up to the stage to rest at their prize. As soon as they appear, approach the podium, Lloyd snatches the golden sash from the presenter's hand. John sighs and shakes his head. Oh, we have our appropriate laughter ripples through the artist at the sight of the two men's antics. Lloyd looks down at the statue and smiles. Wow, um, this is wow. What Lloyd is trying to say is neither of us wrote an acceptance speech. But we totally accept. And we'd like to thank everyone who made this possible. Yes, to the amazing cast and crew of Vice Versus, thank you so much for making this dream a reality. We owe it all to you. And special thanks to a certain little wizard who helped make this all possible. I feel a slight flush creep up my face for thanking me. Anyway, Lloyd here could keep going all night. But John says I should be good, so we'll keep it concise and just say thank you. Thank you! The rest of the ceremony passes quickly and we exchange farewells before parting ways. There's my girl! Adam really tackles me with a hug the minute I enter my room. Congrats on winning best drama! Adam kisses my cheek multiple times. So, how does it feel to be a winner? Um, well, it feels pretty good actually. I mean, I know that award ceremonies are really just self-congratulatory events and don't really... Got it. Seriously, good work. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you. It's a lot to process, but I think once I finally realize what happened, I'll be really excited. Good! Anyway, I just wanted to tell you congratulations in person. Adam, you start kissing me on the nose. And let you know I'm proud of you. See you around, winner. See you. The internet looks pretty excited about the Golden Television Awards. Looks like I even got a bit of popularity boost from Vice vs. Win. Hey Sean, I want to do something cool before I leave on tour. Can you meet on campus next Thursday afternoon? Check email. Message. Vice versus. Okay, I know where to go. Aww. Oh. It's the thing that has that, that, um, the thing, the webcam, no, ugh, okay.
Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, exercise, town, work, because I gotta go um, get some money and also hopefully unlock the game goal, because I really need game goal. And... Town? I guess, go. Miss Gooden, I'm pleased to inform you that your grades are acceptable to keep your grant. Good work. I wish you the best of luck in the upcoming month. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. My blog is getting more hits these days. I, I earned $31 in ad revenue. My popularity went up, too. Uh, Fo. Because I need my um, soup, you know? I got some type of money. Shoot. Hey, kids. Who died? What? You two look super upset about something. What's up? Sean and Adam are in a relationship, and I don't think it'll be good for either of their careers. Whoa, now, I know you think that even dating should be all about business, but not everyone has to be that way. I knew you'd say that. More like, you know I'm right. At least the Lord is on my side, I'm like, you, John. You're the one who's been worried that Adam's starting to lose motivation. Maybe this is what he needs to get back on track. And of course, you just had to say something reasonable. You hear that, Sean? John says, I'm the voice of reason. Take a photo. This won't last long. Don't we have work to do? Always. So you two stop glaring at each other and go do it. Yes, sir. I hurry off before John can retort. It's nice to know that I've got Lloyd on my side. I'll probably convince John to ease up on us soon enough. I follow Adam out onto the campus square. Help me set this up? He points to a keyboard. Didn't I give you that? You sure did. I wanted to put it to good use before I left, and I figure a public concert is the best way to go. I kneel beside Adam and help him set up the stand. You're too nice. It's only thanks to your generosity. Adam and I finish setting up the keyboard, and he really launches into his first song. In mere minutes, a crowd of students has swarmed all of these singing along and cheering for Adam. As I watch the crowd, I realize how much Adam has changed over this year. He seems a lot more confident these days. The motions he makes are more natural, not the preset moves John wrote out for him. Adam's really grown. He embraces the sort of life now and does his best to live it well. I can't help but be a little impressed with how far he's come, but it makes me wonder how much I've changed. Neither has ever planned to get into this business. He's finally getting comfortable with it. But what about me? Thanks for coming to my impromptu concert. I'm afraid I have to get going, but you guys all rock. Is sure for Adam and reluctantly disperse. Help me out? Always. I begin dismantling the keyboard and it then it's preparals what item Adam signs a few autographs. As soon as he finishes, he rejoins me. Thanks. Anytime. No, I mean it. Thanks for everything. You've been really great to me, Sean. I hope you know that. If you're trying to win boyfriend points, it's working. Sweet. Anyway, I got some last minute things to do before I leave. I understand. Take care. The mall? Maybe I can unlock something? Nothing. Bring the puzzles for no reason and done, because I'm not buying anything. Uh, check mail? Anything. Message boards. Anyone into fashion? What's the fashion now? Awesome. Log out. Stats. Let's go out with Adam. Who is this? You know who this is. Want to go somewhere? Shoot. Sounds good to me. Where to? We can go to... Um... Coffee shop. Sure. I'll be at your room in a sec. Should I bring a cup to Adam? No, he doesn't like those. 
I'm going out on a limb here and guessing you want a green tea latte. Aw, oh, my boyfriend knows me so well. By the way, I like your outfit. It makes you look cool. Uh oh, let's hope no one gets the wrong idea. What else should I get you? Turkey and pester sandwich. Oh, you mean the one made out of delicious and goodness? So you want to split it? And that's music to my ears. That was great. Thanks for coming with me. Always a good time. Adam's gone, isn't he? He's left. He's gone. Um. Let's see. A study, cause. That's below 2.6, and I can't have that because I need it. I do need money, so I'm gonna go to walk, blog, no, no, exercise, blog, and then town. Ugh! Sorry, I had to shut for a minute. Huh. Sorry, Shadow, I, I really do apologize. I didn't mean to. The atmosphere on set is a little more energetic than usual. Morning! Today's a fun one. Why? What's going on? Crowd scene. We've got a lot of extras coming in. They should all be here within the hour. Boy well, points at a room that some of the crew members have already quartered off. Extras holding is over there. They're required to do their own makeup, but keep an eye on them. If anything looks out of place, just give them a touch-up. Will do. I wander by the room and peek in, and there are already several people minding about. Their expressions range from bored to nervous in the corner. A few of them are chatting about another show they worked on. Everyone looks fine to me, so I head to the makeup printer to check on John. Good morning, Mr. Brand. Huh? Um, I'm sorry. I thought this was John Brand's trailer. The girl looks around in a day. She's clearly lost. What? Who are you? Lost and blunt. Are you here to film? Yeah, I'm an actress. I'm sorry, they just told us to follow the signs, but I didn't see any. Well, except for the sign on the door here that said, Brandon. She throws her head back and laughs. I guess it was stupid to think each of the extras would get a trailer. She holds her hands up to me. Allison Brandon, nice to meet you. I accept her handshake. Same to you. An extra's holding is that way. I point out the door and arc. My hand in the direction of the hallway. Addison's gaze follows my hand. Mind showing me the way? It would really suck if I got lost again. I set my makeup case down inside the trailer and hold the door open for Addison. Sure thing. Follow me. Addison bounds out of the trailer and quickly falls into step beside me. So, I didn't catch your name. Sean, makeup artist. That is so cool! I heard the guy who played Moonlight Avenger used to be a makeup artist before he got more acting gigs. Haha, <laughs> good for him, but that's really not my plan. Acting is not my thing. What? Why not? Acting is amazing! Addison skips ahead of me a few paces and spins to face me. You get to tell a story, connect with people, be a part of something bigger! And when you and other people can create entire worlds, it's the most amazing feeling in the world! Well, I agree that it's a good feeling to be part of telling a story, but my place is behind the camera and in front of it. I feel myself blush a little bit just thinking about all the attention. But I think it's good that you like it. As in Grace, it skips a few steps backwards. Whenever I'm on stage or in front of the camera, I feel so much freer. Is that how you feel about doing makeup? I... I frown. I guess so. You guess? You don't know? I'm trying to figure it out. Well, you must be pretty good at it to be in a place like this. I can say the same of you. What? Me? No, being an extra doesn't really require skill. We're basically just moving props. But you, did, but you did have to get cast, didn't you? Sort of. There's a separate group that casts extras. They post an opening online and the first people who sign up get it. That's all? Well, there are guidelines. Like, you have to look like you belong in the scene. But, yeah, it's that easy. She holds her finger as if lecturing me. Featured extras are different. They have to at least have the director approve their photos. They actually get to show up and have real FaceTime. Maybe even interact with the actors! 
I didn't know there was a difference. Most people don't. I mean, extras are just extras, right? No one really cares. But it's worth it to just be here, feel the creative energies, and at least get what little experience I can. I'm so excited! I didn't even get any sleep last night! She stops at a large sign on the wall. Oh! Extras holding! There's the sign. There's the sign. Thanks for talking with me. It means a lot. No problem. You're welcome today. Passing waves and bounce off. Bounce into the room to mingle with the other extras. Oh, I forgot to go. Well, I'll go to go away. Never mind. I said I would go into town, but <laughs> that didn't work out so well. Uh oh, there's an argument going on in the comment section of my blog. It's kind of pointless, but a lot of people are visiting my blog just to watch it unfold. That cuts its popularity, right? <laughs> Reminds me of some of the comments <laughs> on YouTube channels, <laughs> the videos I've seen. Oh, uh, yeah. Soup. Yum, me soup. Summer time. I better check my wardrobe to make sure I'm wearing the right clothing. And I have to go buy clothing, to be honest. Because I don't have the right clothing, so yeah, it's time to go shopping. I gotta go shopping. Wait, mail, anything? Anything? Nothing. New movie theaters, mo new movies. Vlog out. Uh. Call friends. Call Adam. Who is this? You know who this is. Wanna go somewhere? Shoot, sounds good to me. Where to? I'll be at your room in a sec. Should I bring a cupcake? No, he doesn't. He doesn't like the those. Yeah, cause I don't have any um, clothes. All right, movies. Which movie would you like to go watch? Um, I'm cool with whatever. Just pick one. Guys, where's Bobby? Oh no! Bobby! Bobby! We have to go back for him! Back there with that thing? We'll be killed! Sorry, but Bobby's on his own. Uh, oh, oh man, I feel kinda queasy. That's gonna be haunting my nightmares for days. It'll be kinda funny if actually Bobby's the killer though. Dun dun dun. Yeah, probably not a good idea to do well on it. I'm glad we got to watch this together. Okay, let's see. For take down, so I can go to town to buy my clothes. Log, exercise, town, and then work. I need extra money, to be honest. Man, after all that work I've been doing, staying in to just do homework is almost relaxing. I change into my pajamas and find a comfortable spot on my bed before opening my book. For Sokovo, I sign a fairly simple scene analysis, but I have to actually read the scene first. Someone knocks on my door, drumming out an impatient series of beats. Adam, come in. I open the door and Adam freezes mid knock. He grins and waves. Oh, hey. Don't act so surprised to see me in my own room. What's up? Adam casually strolls into my room, ignoring the fact that I've already dressed for bed, and throws himself face first onto my bed with a dramatic groan. Make yourself at home. English homework is a drag. You said I could come over. That I did. So did you do the reading? Yeah, but I don't get it at all. It's just words. Why didn't you go to Professor Cole's office hours or something? Um, he kind of scares me. Oh. My dad did say he looks like a hitman. Not surprising. Hey, he's mean. Don't get so defensive. Did you want my help or not? Yes, please. I grab my English literature book and try to reclaim my spot on the bed. Adam rolls over onto his back to make space for me. All right, let's read it, read it together. Adam cracks open his books and flips through the pages until he comes to the assigned reading section. 
I'll start. I wonder that you will still be talking. Just ignore Benedict. Nobody marks you. What, my dear lady disdain, are you yet living? Yeah, nope, already lost. Be patient, let's read. Let's just read it first. I return to the place in the script. Is it possible the stain should die while she has met? She has such met food to feed as Signor or Benedict. The curse itself must convert to disdain if you come in her presence. Then is courtesy a turncoat, but it is certain I am loved of all ladies, only you excepted. And I would, I could find in my heart that I had not a hard heart, for truly I love none. A dear happiness to women, they would else have been troubled with a per pernicious suitor. And Grunt let his head fall onto the bed with soft buns. How long do I have to be patient? I still have no idea what's going on. You will. Just give it a moment. Start with the first line. And I'm starting the page and repeat the first line slowly. I wonder that you will still be talking. Um, so she's surprised that he's still talking? Basically, when she says nobody marks you, she means that no one cares about what she has to say. Ouch. Okay, um, so then he responds by saying he's surprised that she's still alive. Because she's such a hater? Uh, yeah, I guess haters work in response. She says that even the nicest people would be haters around him. Now he gets all defensive by saying that lots of chicks are into him, but... He's never actually loved anyone. She replies that she feel bad for anyone he loves. Double ouch. Adam hesitates and forces his book shut, keeping a finger between the pages to mark his place. Hang on, do these two like each other or hate each other? I mean, is this like an actual fight or is it more like us? What do you mean like us? You know, how we always tease each other and stuff, but it's not for real. Actually up to the viewers to decide, but they do end up together in the end. Hey, spoilers! Like you were going to read it any read anything outside of the expert in this book. You don't know I won't. Will you? Probably not. Okay then. You didn't really answer my question though. What? Are these two like us? What should I do? Oh god. And these two are really going at it. How on earth do they wind up together? Their friends set them up through a bit of trickery. But it's implied that they already had feelings for each other and just never realized it. <laughs> I get it. They're like us because we're totally dating. Yes, yes we are. Adam rolled over and sits on the edge of my bed. Anyway, thanks for the help. I've got to go write that paper now. Lips and start from the ceiling. Or play the guitar for an hour, and then write that paper. <laughs> or that. Anytime you want help studying, feel free to come by. Will do. Oh yeah, I gotta go. Eh, eh, eh. There's okay. my favorite makeup artist in the whole wide world. Hi, Allison. Hey there, how's it going? I'm doing great. I just dropped by to see if the bookstore had a game I want, but no luck. Oh well, it was a long shot anyway. I knew I should have just gone to GameGo instead. There's a GameGo around here? Totally! It's just across town. I didn't know that. And now you do! Life's great, isn't it? I need to go. I need to work so I can get money. I need money. Game 
go. Yes. Oh. Okay, this is pretty cool. They've got all the latest games along with some really cool electronics. Oh, these are expensive though. I won't have any money left. Oh man, okay, I'll come back when I have more money. I'm sorry. I have no money. <laughs> no money. I said it's Lord Cole's cut. I rush it and begin to make makeup. So I need to close her eyes and wait for me to start my work, but my lungs suddenly feel tight. My body, my brush falls from my hand and I show up. My knees buckle under my weight. What's going on? Sean? I tried to speak, but it's hard to say anything. I turn and race towards the makeup trailer. I s slam the door to the trailer shut and curl up on the floor. Why am I having a panic attack right now? Nothing even happened. I count my breath and will them to slow down, but my body refuses to listen to me. There's a soft knock on the door. Sean? Help. Rachel enters the trailer and stifles a gasp of harm seeing me. Oh, Sean. Rachel sits beside me and places a hand on my shoulder. What's wrong? Nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. I get these panic attacks sometimes. Usually it happens when I'm in the crowds surrounded by strangers. I don't know why it happened today. It just did. Rachel rubs my back gently. I'm so sorry, babe. I feel my breathing slow to a more even pace and eventually I feel well enough to sit up. I really messed up, didn't I? Everyone's probably furious. Of course not. Everyone's really worried about you. As for putting filming on hold, you're certainly not the worst I've seen. I worked a show last year where the lead actress locked herself in her trailer for half a day because craft services used iceberg lettuce instead of romaine. I snort. <laughs> to be fair, romaine lettuce does taste a lot better. That's my girl. Always knowing how to empathize with other people. Rachel pats my back. I nod. Yeah, I think I can go back to work. I stand and wobble a little. Rachel immediately catches me. I've got you. Thanks. Are you sure you don't want to take a little longer to rest? I'm sure. Sometimes a panic attacks attack can last for days, but this one's pretty minor. I think I'll, it'll be better for me if I can focus on work instead of myself. All right then. Let's get going. Knock knock. How, how goes? It goes. Just wondering if you've got a spare moment to hang next week. Since I'll be leaving for the tour Friday afternoon, was hoping we could hang out before then? Sounds good to me, Friday morning. Perfect. I'll see you then. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna leave it off here.